Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again, and thanks for taking the time to tune in to another Battlefield 5 video. Before we get started though, just remember, if you do like what you see, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, and also, if you want, feel free to leave a suggestion in the comments for what you want to see in the next video. Now, in today's video, we're actually going to take a look at the Assault Kit in Battlefield 5, because, well, it's always been one of the strongest classes in any Battlefield game. But I think the issue that a lot of people are having in BF5 is that it seems to be maybe a little bit too versatile at the same time as having some of the strongest weapons in the game. The other issue is that it also seems that some of the other classes are less powerful than usual, which kind of pushes the Assault class out ahead even more. And so that's what we're going to take a look at today. Is the Assault Kit really overpowered, or is it just that the other classes need a buff? Okay, so to kick off, obviously the standout issue here is that the Assault Kit this time around has been given the Assault Rifles and also the fast-firing SLRs. And in any Battlefield game, all-round weapons are always king, and well, by that standard, this selection is by far the best group of weapons in the game. Now, I don't really have a problem with this because traditionally, before BF1 at least, the Assault class had always been given the most powerful guns. But as a trade-off, they usually also didn't have access to the most powerful launches as well. And as the Assault Kit is still the AT class like it was in BF1, that's now no longer the case. Not just that, but obviously all of the weapons in BF5 are way more accurate and do more damage than we're used to in previous Battlefield games. And so what I've found is that with the average assault rifle, you can usually outshoot people at seriously longer ranges. And obviously with the SLRs, you can reach out even further. And unlike in BF4, where there were all kit carbines and DMRs, some of the other classes, and in particular the Medic, are being seriously limited to certain ranges. Which means I think what we're probably going to inevitably see is a lot more assault players running around than anyone else as people figure out it's just objectively the best all-rounder class. Now, like I said, the other issue at the moment is that the other classes, with arguably the exception of the support class, are less powerful than they really should be. Like, for example, like I said, sure, the medic can melt people in CQB with SMGs, but as the average engagement range in BF5 is a lot longer than it was in previous games, this isn't much help on some maps. On the other hand, at longer ranges, the recon class is suffering because, to address the fact that there were too many snipers in Battlefield 1, DICE seems to have gone ahead and nerfed the bolt-action rifles. And sure, you could argue that the recon indirectly got a buff by the changes to spotting, as it allows snipers to go undetected. The fact is, this also balances out because it hurts them when it comes to target acquisition. Also, I should mention, now that we've got the buddy revive mechanic and supply crates on the map, the role of the medic, and to a lesser extent, the role of the support, isn't as important now. Because sure, there is technically a new attrition mechanic in-game, which theoretically should make them both a lot more useful, but DICE went and scaled that back, didn't they, after the beta. And so, while sure, there is the occasional time where I get shot and I need a heal, or I run out of ammo, the vast majority of the time I'm not living long enough for that to really become an issue. Because now also DICE has increased time to kill. And as the game isn't as forgiving as it once was, the last thing I'm worried about is running out of health and ammo when I'm trying not to get shot in the first place. So to finish up, the question is, what can DICE actually do about it? And well, to begin with, let's just say as for weapon class distribution, well, they've made their bed now and I doubt that's going to change until the next game. And not just that, but like I said before, one of the characteristics of the Assault class should be powerful primary weapons. So nerfing them or just giving them to another class isn't going to do the job either. As for the launches though, well, that's another story. And probably my main gripe with them is that they're probably too easy to use and also they're very effective versus infantry. And honestly, I think I'd probably prefer to see them balanced so that, at the very least, they can only really be used in a strictly anti-vehicle role. Also, I think probably the other main solution, like I said before, is that DICE really needs to ramp up attrition again to give 
Meta can support a real purpose. And I know this is a pretty controversial thing to say, but it just feels like at this point they've built the game around the new system, and now the game just isn't working as intended because they've eased up on it. Also, another thing they eased up on is the changes to spotting, and I think at this point there's way too much passive spotting going on, even if it is class specific. And I think maybe if it was only tied to gadgets like it was originally supposed to be, and if only the player who spotted the enemy could see the spot, then I think that would make people want to play Recon a little bit more, considering they get that advantage and nobody else would. But anyway, guys, I guess that just about wraps up this video, so make sure you let me know what you think about the Assault class in the comment section below. And also make sure to let me know as well if you've got any suggestions for how you'd fix the class balance in general. Because remember, DICE do actually watch videos just like this one. As always though, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also don't forget you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later and have a good one.